Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today we got a great Ask a Ninja from Brian in Damascus, Oregon. And he wanted to know uh, why I recommend installing rim joist installation in a crawl space that is vented. He wrote, I read and watched a lot of your material and can't figure out why it suggested that I insulate the rim joist of a vented crawl space. Just for background, I live in the vicinity of Portland, Oregon, and my vents are just open all the time. I plan to air seal those rim joists very soon, but if the vents are always open, the temperature down there should be the same as the temperature outside. Does foam board insulation on those rim joists even do anything? Air seal is a must, of course. And uh, Brian, that's a great question. And so I'm not real familiar with the current climate of Damascus, Oregon, but if your crawl space is vented, then I assume that the outside relative humidity is pretty low because if it was not, then that outside humidity would be rushing into the crawl space and making the wood and the humidity inside the crawl space high, which would prevent you from doing a rim joist insulation air seal. And let me explain what I mean by that. First of all, in Tennessee, it is required by code whenever you're building a home that rim joist insulation is installed. Now they only require fiberglass bats or some type of R19 to be shoved into the rim joist along with an R19 subfloor insulation. Now keep in mind, most subfloor insulations like uh, fiberglass bats and rock wool do not air seal very well. So this does present a problem though, because in Tennessee we have such high humidity. If you have a vented crawl space, that high humidity rushes in. And as if you've seen any of my videos, You've seen me take moisture meter readings where the insulation itself has begun to condensate and uh, create a moisture and mold problem inside of the crawl space, which is why we always recommend sealing the crawl space and controlling humidity with the dehumidifier. But if Portland has low humidity and the wood is able to stay dry, then I would recommend rim joist insulation and subfloor insulation as long as the wood is dry all the time. Okay, so I just want to be clear about that. You don't want to insulate the subfloor and the rim joist if the wood is wet. So you need to check the moisture and make sure uh, moisture meter readings of the wood itself, check the relative humidity, make sure your crawl space is staying dry year round, not just at the time when you check it. I would check it during the change of the seasons, make sure that condensation isn't happening in the crawl space and the relative humidity is kept low. But the reason why I recommend rim joist insulation, whether the crawl space is vented or not, as you can see in this picture here, the rim joist is actually the thinnest part of the home's exterior. Now you could have brick or something outside to make the uh, rim joist thicker, but in the construction of your home, the rim joist is the thinnest piece of wood. Uh, at least in the living space, you've probably got build out of uh, drywall and insulation and in the crawl space or the basement, even if you don't insulate the foundation walls, at least the foundation walls themselves are thicker than the rim joist. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't insulate the foundation walls if you're sealing the crawl space, but I'm just trying to make a point here. I have been in crawl spaces that are ventilated in Tennessee whenever you had very cold temperatures outside and warm temperatures inside. Now this was particularly in a crawl space that had air ducts going through it. The heat was escaping from the air ducts, causing the crawl space to be warm. That warm air was hitting the cold outside air at the rim joist and created a huge condensation, moisture and mold problem at the rim joist and even in the subfloor of the area surrounding the rim joist. So that's why I recommend rim joist insulation when you have an extreme cold outside and there's a potential for the crawl space to be warm because that dew point is going to happen right there and you need to create a thermal break or condensation will occur. The second reason why I recommend air sealing the rim joist with foam board and spray foam or a spray foam only uh, scenario would be to stop the air from the crawl space or the basement 
from leaking up into the living space. If the crawl space or basement is cooler than the living space above, your comfort level is going to decrease because that cold air is going to rush up the outside interior walls and cause drafting inside the home, whether your crawl space is vented or not. As a matter of fact, the air leakage could be intensified even more in a crawl space that's ventilated due to the stack effect because you've got air rushing in the vents and that air wants to go up and out through the attic during uh, the cold season because you are running heat. Heat wants to rise up out of the attic uh, due to the stack effect, which is creating even more uh, of a uh, ventilation and, and discomfort scenario in your living space due to all the drafting. So if you put fiberglass in those rim joists to create that thermal break, that's going to help with the condensation. But if you don't air seal where the rim joist meets the subfloor, you can still get those leaks up into the living space. So that's why we recommend a foam board spray foam combination because it's, it's typically easier to do that which addresses the thermal break, which prevents condensation, as well as uh, prevents the air leakage up into the living space. And if you have subfloor insulation, uh, Brian, in your, in your uh, home, in the crawl space, I would recommend, if you haven't installed it already, to also air seal major penetrations in the subfloor around plumbing and electrical and HVAC uh, to ensure you, that you don't have more air leakage in those areas as well. So that is why I recommend rim joist insulation even in a crawl space if it is ventilated. Number one, it creates that thermal break from the outside which could prevent condensation. Number two, it's that air seal to make your home more comfortable. But keep in mind if your wood is wet, putting insulation on wet wood is only going to cause major mold problems. So ensure that your crawl space relative humidity and wood moisture is kept in check. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.